I was working with a customer and they asked, is it possible to pass a parameter to a notebook via a pipeline in Microsoft Fabric? Yes, yes it is. And today that's exactly what we're gonna do on Tales from the Field. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. If this is your first time finding your way over to Tales from the Field, give us a like and give us a subscribe. We drop content every Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. On Monday, we drop our MS Tech Pits. On Tuesday, we drop our Azure Data Community Roundtable, which features content from the creators in the Azure Data Community for the Azure Data Community. And then on Wednesday, we drop an MS Tech Pits. That's where we record a video, technical and content that was inspired by you, the community, working with the product group or working with the customer. It's one of these videos right now. Let's get over to that great content. All right, so I'm over in my Fabric workspace and I'm in my lake house. And what I'm gonna do is we're gonna show how we can load some data. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to a notebook because we're going to parameterize our notebook. Uh, I'm going to load this up. And then the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to settings. I'm gonna name this because we're gonna use the name later. And I'm gonna call it get baseball data with parameters, something that's very obvious for what we're doing. I'm gonna go ahead and delete my uh, the comments in that cell. I'm gonna type in my year. This is what we're going to use as our variable. I'm gonna to go to my toggle parameters and I'm gonna set this as a parameter field. This is essentially my parameter and my variable. So I can run this and at this point in time, any parameters we wanted to put in here, we can put in here. So once this runs, I need to get a little bit of data. So I'm gonna to go to my when to attend table and I'm looking specifically to import data from uh, the year that I choose. I'm gonna load this to Spark and take out my limit uh, 1000, so that way I'm loading the entire table from my lake house into my data frame. We go ahead and run this just to be able to see the data that it comes back. Uh, and when this comes back, one of the things you're gonna see is my event year. You can see I've got a whole bunch of different years in there, but I specifically want one year to come back. So what we need to do is create a command. I'm gonna create a data frame two, and it's gonna be a subset of my data frame, my event year column, where my year equals, uh, what or the event year equals my year. So if I run this and display my data frame two, you can see just like we expect, uh, I get my event year with only 2013 data associated to it. Now let's take this out. And what I wanna do is I actually wanna write this to a new table that I'll use to do some research. We've used the DF write format Delta in the past, but we're gonna do something different because I want this to be something I could run over and over again in append. So I'm gonna do my data frame dot write dot mode append format Delta. And then I'm gonna save this to tables and I'm gonna make a new table named baseball data. We're gonna run this and just validate that this works. This runs, this takes all of our data. It pulls out only our year based off our variable. And then what we'll do is we'll go over to our lake house and we're going to look at, we'll auto load our baseball data table. We load this and we see yes, 2013. That's the only data that's in there. Now let's go ahead and delete this because I don't want the parameter that I've set in the notebook. I want the parameter we'll set in the pipeline. So I'm gonna to go to a new pipeline that I've created. I'm going to select a notebook task. And in there, I'm gonna name this notebook, something simple that reflects exactly what we're doing. Get baseball data by year with parameter. Then I'm gonna to go to settings and I'm going to go into my notebook and I'm gonna select the notebook that we just created. I'm gonna select get data with parameter. All right, now we go to base parameters and new. This is where we add our parameter for our notebook. My year, exactly what we've named it. It's an integer value. And I'm gonna type a different year in here. I'm gonna type in 2015. Um, this specifically allows us to be able to get this data. I could make this dynamic content. We could use a lookup table. We could use a loop. We could use metadata. Uh, but right now we're keeping it simple. So we get the concept. So I'm just gonna go ahead and run this. And when this runs, it's going to execute the code in my notebook. We don't have any lookups and shows. We don't need that at this point in time, but all the framework is there for us to be able to make this more complex if we wanted to and more dynamic. Now let's go to our lake house and let's take a look. Our baseball data table is there and I can see, in fact, my 2015 year data is there. But wait, there's more because we made this so we could append it. So I'm gonna come back in here and simulate if we did a for each loop, what if I passed a different value 2014? I'm gonna go ahead and run this again. And this is the power of that append command. It's very important for us to understand that not only did it create the table, but it also is appending the data in there. 
Uh, so when I rerun this, what I'll be able to do is I'll be able to go to uh, my lake house and then I'll be able to validate the data here. Actually, I'm going to go to my SQL analytic endpoint. Click on baseball data and you can immediately see when I click on that data, my 2014 data loads. Boom. Powerful stuff. So what did we cover? Well, we covered a lot. We covered how you create a parameter within a notebook in Microsoft Fabric, and then how you can go to a data pipeline and call that parameter to be able to pass it a value. Again, we didn't do this as a dynamic pipeline, but we could very easily take one of the other videos we did on a lookup table of for each loop and show how we could take metadata to be able to pass it through, to be able to drive what we're doing in a notebook. Fantastic stuff. So sound off. Is there anything that wasn't clear? Any questions you have? Uh, we would love to hear from you. Thank you so much for joining us on Tales from the Field. Be good to one another out there. Do the Bye, everybody. aftermath of preparation. Good food, good mood, blood in circulation. One step 